Welcome back to another video. Um, a little bit different today, again. I think I've been saying that in the past few videos, and that's mainly because all my videos have been slightly different than what I've been used to posting. A lot of my work has been bleeding onto this channel, which is not a bad thing. That's just kind of what I've been feeling right now. Do plan to get back to vlogs at some point, but for right now, we got something different, something fairly special. Um, the folks at Five Fine were gracious enough to send me this little box here. And from what I hear, it is a lav mic. Let me get this unboxed. Full disclosure, they did provide this to me. I did not pay for this. Uh, they wanted me to give my honest review. And since I, I kinda, hold on, kinda have a thing for audio and onboard audio for uh, these videos. So I was more than happy to uh, take part in said review slash testing of said product. Uh, let's get this unboxed uh, and see what's in it. I kinda know what's in it, uh, but I do wanna see what's in the box per se. Let's switch to uh, the top down thing and then we'll uh, see what comes in this box. Okay, let's see what we got in here. I did cut the little tabs already. Little sticker tab thingies. Because I don't feel like flailing a knife around like other people tend to. So first off, we got some basic instructions. We have, an, ooh, an extra clip. This is nice. That's something I will lose, so it's nice to have an extra one. Different color nubs for different color shirts. And we have the device itself. A nice little carrying case. Let's see. A lav mic on its own. Looks like we have an extension. What is this? Let me see what we have here. So we have the converter. The, uh, I believe it's a TRRS to TRS converter. This is so you can use it on like a digital camera here. Extension cord. Then we have what looks like, what is this? Hold on. Oh, this actually looks like a splitter, which is super convenient because then I can use another lav mic and plug it into one. Say I want to record like a, like a makeshift podcast, I can connect it to the adapter to the camera and I'm assuming one would be left channel, one would be right channel, but then I can have two lav mics, pretty decent audio directly into camera, no extra device needed, which is really nice. Back to the uh, lav mic itself. So it looks like it has a nice little Velcro tie, and this one is actually pretty short, relatively speaking, which I honestly think is a good thing because they have the option to make it longer with an extension cord. So far, I'm a fan. Um, let me clean this up. This is this kind of a mess, so let me clean this up, and then we will switch back over and start testing this out because I'm pretty stoked. Came with a lot of things that I wish my other lav mic came with. Actually, it came with a ton of other things I wish my other lav mic came with. So, all right, let's uh, switch back over and get to testing. Get to testing. Now that we are unboxed and ready to go, it's time to swap out this onboard mic with this lav mic. I have the short cable on. Don't really wanna put the long one on just yet. I wanna get a few tests in here just to see what the difference is between my onboard mic, which is a battery powered mic, and this lav mic here. I don't have any other special things going on with this mic other than I am probably post-processing this audio right now up, into this, up until this point. Once we've swapped this out, I'm gonna go ahead and use just the raw audio and I will make a little note somewhere on the screen noting that this is raw audio, and this is not raw audio, and this is this this mic, and this is that mic, this is onboard mic, and so on and so forth, just to kind of keep you in the loop. But for now, let's go ahead and swap this out, and we will see how everything sounds. We are now on lav mic raw audio. Went ahead and kept this cable out, so you see that's just kind of connected, connected to you. I don't really have any need to kind of hide it under my shirt because that's not what we're doing right now. Uh, right now, there's no processing. We're just hearing the raw audio. So if it's a little bit lower than the previous audio, that's only because I don't have any post-processing boosting or noise reduction or any any other effects or cleanup tools like that. This is just the audio coming out of the lav mic itself. How's it sound? I don't know how it sounds yet. 
I don't know, once, I, once I'm done editing, this is how it sounds in a relatively quiet room. There are a couple things on, my computer's on, which kind of has a nice hum to it. And I have a dehumidifier going that has a little bit of a hum to it also. But other than that, it's relatively quiet in here. No fan going, no nothing like that. Just a couple things and a lav mic. For a better test, let's go ahead and go outside. What I'm gonna do is take this camera. This is the mic I was using. It's powered by one little AA battery. Uh, it's been getting me good audio for a couple years now. I'm gonna do a test with just camera audio, powered mic audio, and lav mic audio. So let's go outside where it's a little bit more noisy. I have not filmed out here in quite a bit, really. Like, I really don't remember the last time I sat down on these steps and filmed something outside. Right now, we are listening to the audio through the powered mic. So this is the microphone that's powered by a AAA, a AA battery going straight into the camera. From this clip, I don't have any post-processing on. So you're hearing everything that's coming right out of that mic straight into the camera. There's a lot of noise going on. We have some traffic behind you. We have, uh, I think the high school is kind of nearby doing a lot of band stuff. So you might hear that coming through. Uh, there is some bugs and some birds and such. That's kind of what you're hearing right now. If you can hear it, I don't know. I can't hear the audio right now, so we'll see. Now we are going straight through to the camera. This is the onboard microphone that's on the Canon 70D itself. I have the volume boosted. I'm looking at the volume levels right now. Uh, I have the volume boosted to kind of be around the same spot as where the uh, powered mic was. You're probably hearing a lot more ambient noise, a lot more of the background traffic, a lot more of the air, the AC, anything else that is going on right now. It's not the most noisy place, but it's not quiet like it was inside. Now back to the lav mic itself. No post-processing, no nothing like that. You're just hearing the raw audio going straight into the camera. I didn't, I didn't hide this again because, again, no need to. You know what I'm doing. We're testing a lav mic. I've also kind of dialed down the volume level to about where the other two were. So hopefully it's pretty close and it's not so jarring on your ears if you're listening via headphones or on your phone or on the big TV or anything like that. I'm trying to keep it relatively level so it's not, not so abrupt. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back inside. We're gonna edit up until this point so I can hear the audio. And then we will kind of form our Somewhat final, not really final, but we, well, we'll see how everything sounds. Yeah. Suppose I could have just moved my headphones, but instead I opted to just clip the, the little mic to my headphones. Anyway, um, I've done a little bit of the editing, a little bit of the listening, so to speak, of the audio, and so far it is exceptional. I think one thing I, I failed to mention towards the beginning and why I'm going to kind of sway my my opinion on this mic towards one direction is um, this is 20 bucks. So even if I didn't receive a free one, this is entirely something I would get out of pocket. I've, I've gotten said lav mics before. The mic that I got did not come with anywhere near as much stuff that comes in handy when you're making videos like this, when you're doing any kind of creative content for the interwebs nowadays. I really think that, I, I know we haven't gotten to our final thoughts or anything like that, but so far from what I've heard compared to all three different versions of audio, the onboard, the powered, and the lav mic, uh, this is easily my favorite one. The things I have to remember about this mic is try not to like, try not to flail this around so much. Uh, I normally don't. It's just for this video, I kind of tend to turn into a Muppet. Straight from lav mic to camera into Premiere, the audio is almost completely usable. Uh, granted, you can probably use it just fine. It's just my meticulous ear likes to get those little bits of extra noise out if I can. That for me doesn't take that much more effort, just a couple different clicks and drags to get the audio where I want. With that being said, the audio is much easier to process and get to a point where I'm comfortable with putting in a video. The other part of that is you can entirely drop this straight into Premiere without really editing much. You can just boost the audio if it's a little too low or bring it down if you're not clipping if it's a little too loud and it would be perfectly fine. Processing is minimal, which is for me personally exceptional because 
the less time I have to spend processing and fine tuning audio, the faster I can put out a video, which means I can put out more video and I don't have to stress as much. Good. This is a noisy room, so this is a good test. Uh, this audio right now probably has post-processing on it because I have a loud fan on. I'm right by my computer station, so it's a little bit loud, and then the dehumidifier is not too far away from me. The last thing I wanted to test out before we wrap things up here was the little splitter that came with the lav mic. This is a different lav mic that I have already. I am behind the camera, behind, behind, behind you right now. What I want to do is play a little bit of audio kind of close by, a little bit more quiet. I want to step back a few steps, maybe turn around to get a little bit more between me and the audio source and see not only how this handles, but also if it's something viable to use and carry with me. I think that's pretty good. Maybe a little bit further. I am a few feet back. I'm gonna turn my back around. I'm gonna speak a little bit more quietly to see how that works. And then I'm gonna speak normal, just to see how something a little bit more quiet handles me being a little bit more loud. There's no volume control on the splitter. It's just a cable that splits the signal. So there's nothing I can really do to control how one side sounds versus the other. It's not one lav mic is the left channel, one lav mic is the right channel. It's both into the stereo mix. There's not really much control I have in post either. But if this is something I can do and manage on the fly and it sounds pretty decent, especially with a minimal amount of effort and really a minimal amount of space in my bag, then I think it would at least be worth carrying with me every time I go out. Not every time I go out, like just for any reason, but any time I go out for filming, to make a YouTube video or to do any other kind of project that might involve commentary or interviewing someone, which does happen. Nice to know that that gives me a, an option, a last minute option, just in case I don't bring stuff. Cause you never know what happens when you're, when you're out, something could pop up. It's good to be prepared. Good to have some sort of, just in case measure in your bag at all times. The two lav mic splitter setup was not the worst. I'm actually a little bit more impressed than I thought I would be with that setup. In a pinch, it, it could make a very decent kind of pseudo podcast setup. Uh, I mean, if you're trying to do everything just with like bare minimum gear. I'm um, granted, again, no controls over anything because it's just the splitter going into a stereo mix. But I was still, I was still decently impressed and I will definitely carry that in my bag just in case because you never know. It's not that heavy. It doesn't take up that much space. Might as well bring it. With that said, is this lav mic worth the, the price at 20 bucks? In my opinion, honestly, yeah. All the extras that you get with it and the fact that it does come in a little bit of a shorter length to begin with, plus the extender. I'm using the extender right now. And I mean, you can see I am kind of way out there and I still have a bit of cord left versus my other lapel mic, which is extremely lengthy, but I don't have the option of having anything smaller. So when I have to, or when I want to use it a little bit more close up and I don't want all that extra length, I have to kind of roll it up and, and tie it into itself. Not a big deal, but the convenience of having it at a much shorter length to begin with, pretty nice. Should you pick one up? Do you need one? Yes and no. I mean, if you're doing this, then yeah, definitely pick one up. I will leave all the info and the links in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube. I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that. They're not paying me. They're not giving me anything extra or anything like that. They just gave me a live mic, told me to test it out, tell us what you think, and my honest opinion, it's, it's great. I would 100% pick one up. I already have one. I would 100% pick up another one just to have as a backup and to use for conversations. As far as my use goes, yeah, this is this is perfect. I love this. The powered mic is great for when I'm out and about, but when I'm in this setting and when I'm outside just kind of talking on a tripod, nothing is really going to beat this lav mic setup here. The audio is just superb. Using the shorter cable, I can probably get away with vlogging with this, so maybe Maybe tune into another video and we'll see how that works out. See if it's kind of something that I can swap out my, my bigger mics for. Cause that would be very convenient. Plus 
Again, takes a lot less space up. That is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Let me know if you have any questions about this lav mic setup. Check out the links in the description to find out more and to pick one up if you want one. Again, no affiliate links, no nothing. They're not paying me or anything like that. It's just a good lav mic. If I had my choice of onboard microphone for the camera, powered mic or other kind of third party mic, I'm probably gonna choose the, the lav mic in a studio environment and possibly out run and gun if I can. Hopefully that works out. Anyway, I gotta go. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will get back to you as best I can. Like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Helps the channel grow in small steps. Okay, I will see you soon in another video. Yeah, okay, bye.